What's up guys, my name's Alex, welcome to the Bug Out Life YouTube channel. guys it has been a hot minute since I've uploaded I've had a lot of stuff going on to start off this year I've had injuries I've been in wheelchairs family dramas but not, nevertheless we're getting back into this build uh, so today's video I'm going to show you guys uh, the process of building these stands so far which are going to be the rotisserie stands for painting the trailer frame uh, we're going to finish those off we're going to start prepping the trailer frame for paint so sanding it down uh, some last minute cutting and welding uh, and then hopefully by the end of this video, we're ready to paint. So stick around, check it out, and let's get it done. Well, there we have it. Our first rotisserie stand is pretty much done. All we have to do now is attach a handle on the back, which will probably bolt in and out because we want this to slide on and off. Uh, this one we made for the rear of the trailer. This will attach to the rear tow hitch. Uh, that will slide in there. What we need to do now is make one for the front, which will attach to uh, where the front coupling bolts to. Uh, and it'll be the same concept. It'll rotate. So you'll have two handles, two people. Uh, you can prep one side, rotate it, prep the other side, and then obviously paint it as well. Alright guys, so we've cut our mud guards down here for better clearance and we've drilled our holes for our mud guards to attach to and they're branded with the Bug Out Off Road Campus brand, of course. So that's going to look pretty cool, I think. Let's keep going. Alright guys, so now our stands are pretty much completely done. We've uh, chopped down our mud guards there. We've done a couple things to the trailer frames. Now it's time to completely strip the trailer frame down and get it ready for uh, prepping paint. So let's do that. There we have it guys, our trailer frame is completely stripped down now except for our point stabilizer legs, obviously because uh, that's what's holding it up right now. Once we get our rest history stands on, we'll take those off. Next step is to prep this for paint, so sanding it down, getting all surface rust off. That'll be tomorrow. Uh, that's gonna be wrapped for today because it's getting dark. Uh, we've done quite a bit of work. Uh, so we'll pick up tomorrow and we'll get this uh, all sanded down and ready for paint. Alright, so I have my two attachments for the rotisserie stands all attached there that unbolts onto the front. And if we head to the back here, that one just pushes into the rear hitch there. Now we just need to use some physics to try and get those stands onto those holders. Now I don't know if they're going to be strong enough, but hey, we'll find out very shortly, won't we? So let's get that done.
Right, so now that our rotisserie stand is all working and functional, what we need to do now is get rid of all the surface rust so we can uh, prime it and paint it. I'm pretty lazy, so I'm gonna try this stuff out. It's called a Bapo Rust Rust Remover. It's a gel, you spray it on, kind of leave it for a couple of hours, and then you can just wipe the rust off. Hopefully that works. If not, then I'm gonna have to get some elbow grease into there. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take off the corner stabilizer legs, we'll spray some of this on, we'll wait a little while, and then we'll uh, see if this rust comes off. Right, so I heavily underestimated how much I'd need. I think I got half of the underside done, maybe just a touch more with just one can, so I might go back to the soup cheat and get the actual tub of it, the leader one that I think I'd have to brush on. And uh, it might be a better use of the amount of liquid. So I might let this soak for a couple of hours, test it out, make sure it actually works before I go spending more money on more of it. Uh, if it works, I'll go get more. If it doesn't, then I'll just use a good old elbow grease. So. Let's uh, wait two hours and we'll come back shortly. Right, so I let that sit for a couple hours, uh, it dried up. It definitely works, the rust has come off, but it leaves heaps of residue and it's turning out to be quite a pain in the ass to, uh, to get off. So I don't think I'm gonna use that anymore because I feel like I'm gonna put just as much work into getting the residue off as I am just getting the rust off. Um, Cause literally I just wash it, wipe it, and it dries up with white crap all over it again. Um, so I think I'll save the money, do the classic elbow grease and just try and get all this residue off now. Um, when we're waiting, I did prep the exoskeleton as well. Uh, so that is pretty much ready to be alley washed and then uh, painted. Um, so let's crack onto this and see how we go. All right guys, so after a couple of hours of trying to get that stuff off the trailer frame, I had no luck. It was a huge pain in the ass, so I decided just to bite the bullet, take it to the uh, sandblaster. So it's at the sandblaster now, dragged it over there. Uh, they're gonna sandblast it down and then they're also going to prime it. Uh, and then I'll go pick that up and then I will paint it with the wrap coat once it's back. Uh, so what we're going to do now is going to prime uh, and prep the exoskeleton uh, and then we'll get that ready for wrap coat to the Alright guys, there we go. The exoskeleton is all prepped now. Uh, we hit it with some Alley Bright, gave the wipe down. Uh, washed all that off. We're gonna leave it in the sun to dry off for a little while now, and then we'll hit it with our primer. Uh, we sanded it yesterday, so that part's all done. Uh, so pretty much we're just ready to prime, and then let that dry, and then we're ready to paint the Raptor. So let's get it done. So while we're waiting for our exoskeleton to dry, we decided to mask up and paint our suspension. It looks a bit pinkish or like burgundy uh, in the light at the moment, but it's definitely red. It's like a, a, I think it's called flame red on the can. It's a rust prohibiting uh, paint, so that should do pretty well for us. We're gonna leave that for a few hours, flip them over, paint them, do a few coats. Uh, but we thought we'd just get a head start on that. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna drag that exoskeleton back out of the sun now that it's all dry, and we'll start uh, masking that up and then we'll get it painted. All right, so as you can see behind me, our XO is all masked up and ready for its prime coat. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna give it one last wipe down with some wax and grease remover, and then we'll throw some primer over that. I did get it in the spray can. It's a acid etch primer. It's what they recommend from uh, Raptor Coat. So we'll spray that down, let that dry. We'll do a second coat uh, after a little while, and then it'll be ready for the Raptor Coat uh, in a couple of days time. So let's get that done. Before we get to uh, priming, I'll just really quickly explain my masking job. So. Basically, I've put a layer of masking tape on the inside, uh, near the edge, but I've left about, uh, well, I guess, 10 mil of, of a gap around for the paint to come on the other side and really adhere to it. And then I've left uh, masking tape on there, which is where the glue will then stick the panels down later on. I don't want any paint there because I want to go straight to the aluminium, give it a really good bond, and make sure that no water and, and uh, leaks can happen. So that's why we've masked the inside, all the outside's getting painted, uh, so let's do it.
we have it guys, we are all primed in now, uh, waiting for that to dry. We're gonna do the back door quickly so that that's all ready to go. We'll give that a, give that a couple days to dry up uh, and then hopefully we will get some wrapped coat on it. Looking pretty good, it's getting pretty exciting. Uh, it's nice seeing it all one color and getting it all tied in now. So we're, uh, we're making some pretty good steps. So let's keep going. All right, well there we have it guys. We are completely primed in now and we are ready for Raptor Coat. Uh, I'm gonna wait till I get the trailer frame back from the Sandblaster uh, before I go Raptor Coating and I'll do it all at the same time. So that'll be in probably a few days time, maybe next weekend I'll get that done. Uh, but we are pretty much ready to do it. So all I'll have to do next is um, just clean off the surfaces again uh, before I lay the Raptor Coat and then get that done. It's gonna be pretty exciting to get the trailer frame back from the Sandblaster because they're climbing it like I told you guys earlier. Uh, so that'll be ready to go as well. Can't wait to see that one color. It's really gonna tie it together nicely. Uh, but that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Uh, we got heaps done in this video. Really excited. We're making some really good steps. Uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Thanks for sticking around and watching the videos. Uh, and we've got a really exciting one next time because it's all gonna be painted and put back together. So stick around, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you can get notifications when I upload my next video. Uh, and enjoy the rest of your days. Cheers.